If you want to convert your project into a PCB, this is the right place to start. And if you're not familiar, a PCB is a printed circuit board. That is basically your project, which is a bunch of loose wires and bent components, converted into a nice and crisp shrunk little board. So the first question is how do you start designing a board? There are tons of free software that you can use. Most of them are entirely free. I use Easy EDA, which uh, you can actually use online without having to download anything. So let's go to easyeda.com and let's get started. This actually is a dual adjustable bench power supply. It might look a little complex, but it's not really. But anyway, we're not going to start with this. We're going to start with something uh, a little simpler. So let's go to a uh, folder and new project. Now we have uh, the drawing pad in front of us and we need to draw the schematic first before we can go on to the PCB. But before we start designing, we have to understand what we are uh, trying to achieve. So uh, if you had seen my video on flex sensors, I actually use a flex sensor as a trigger for an LED. So whenever I flex my hand, the LED would light up and uh, there is an Arduino Nano here that uh, does the processing. And obviously we can't shove the whole thing here in the, uh, in the center of our Iron Man hand because it's just too big, there is no space. So we want um, a small PCB to which we can mount the LEDs and solder them. And then we can just have one little PCB stuck here on the inside. So uh, how we're going to do is um, there is an Arduino Nano in the center. There is three LEDs and there is a flex sensor. How we're going to wire this up is uh, uh, this flex sensor is connected to uh, one of the analog pins here, A1. And then the other pin of the flex sensor goes to a 1K resistor and then goes to ground. And the way these LEDs are connected is um, uh, each um, LED has a resistor, 1K, and they all come together to a common ground. And then they also go to the ground here. And the positives of the LED are connected to um, Arduino digital pins 10, 11, and 12. So that's a simple circuit that we want to build. But we have to be careful that uh, this part is going to be inside the gauntlet here where the light is going to be. And then this part is um, probably going to be strapped onto my wrist or something because obviously this whole thing, even on a P PCB, won't fit inside the hand. So what we're going to do is um, instead of ordering two PCBs, we're going to fit all of this on one PCB. And then when I receive the PCB, I'm going to cut it in the middle um, and then, uh, you know, uh, make this one circular and then um, just shove it inside the hand. Um, and then uh, while designing now, we have to be careful that the wires in between, there are four wires and we have to make headers uh, on which we can mount these wires. So if we have headers, then these are two separate PCBs, cut them, cut it in the middle, and then we can just attach them with jumper wires. So let's go ahead and dive right into uh, the design. So to draw the schematic, you have to come down here to the EE library where you have all your components, right? Um, and first of all, let's just drop the, uh, the power supply, VCC and the ground. So to uh, draw any, uh, to get any component, you have to click on it and then just drop it. And then uh, to erase, you just have to right click. So click, drop. Now that we have our VCCs and ground, we know that our circuit's um, heart is the Arduino Nano. So um, we actually don't have the Nano here. So what we want to do is search it in the libraries. So to search for any components, you have to go down here to the libraries Let's see, it's say Arduino Nano, and then go to schematic libraries. Don't go to PCB libraries yet because we are still designing our schematic. Um, so in the schematic libraries, you have to go under system and you will see uh, a couple of Arduino Nanos and this one is actually verified. So you want to select that. You can see the schematic here. It looks about good. Click place. 
All right, we can place this here uh, and then right click to um, get rid of it. What else do we need? We need um, a header pin where our flex sensor is going to connect. So we have to go down here to headers. These are the headers, the connectors. So as you can see, this is, um, what is it? Uh, a header male 1x6. This is a header female. We need female headers, but um, it actually doesn't really uh, matter. So let's go ahead and uh, make it um, 1x2 because our um, flex sensor just has two um, uh, inputs to this header pin. So what we're going to do is our flex sensor is going to connect to these header pins. As we can see from our schematic, uh, this header is going to connect to a 1K resistor and then go to ground. So where is our resistors? Mm, right here. This is our resistor. Let's put this here right next to where ground is. This should be good. And right click. So we need we want to rotate this so it's facing the resistor. It doesn't matter. You can you can go around, uh, but uh, it's good to have everything. We can just go uh, flip horizontal. Okay, looks much better. Yeah, it's good to have everything uh, look better as well. So in our schematic, we um, we also need uh, uh, three LEDs. We had connected three. LEDs um, in our um, Iron Man gauntlet. So where are the LEDs? This is the symbol for an LED. So we'll place three of them here. One, two, three. Mm, simple. And we need uh, another resistor. So uh, can we... Sh what are you... C, control C, Control V. Oh yeah, we can do that. So yeah, Control V, one here. Control V, another one here. Control V run here okay each LED has a 1k resistor next to it awesome now we want to start wiring it this is it these are all the components that we need uh, we can um, maybe get this smaller and from the wiring tool we can just click on our wire and first of all we want to connect VCC which are which is our power source to our um, V in which is actually on the other side so but that's okay and actually, in this case, uh, we don't need a ground because uh, our Arduino would be connected to a power source, which will be externally grounded. So in this one, we don't need it, but just for the purpose of, um, you know, illustration in, in, a, in, a, in a different circuit design, you might need to connect your ground to this. So for now, let's just get rid of it. And our two headers, uh, this one in our uh, circuit goes uh, straight to... Uh, a1. A1 is actually on the other side, but that's okay. Um, we can still connect it. When you see the when you see the circle, that's when you click, uh, and then that's when they connect. Um, if you just click without seeing the circle, it's not gonna connect. It's gonna look like it's connected, but it's not gonna connect, and it's gonna cause all sorts of problems. So see the circle, click, and then let's connect the resistor to ground. Simple. Now, um, these three, the way they are connected is all the resistors are connected individually to their own LEDs and then the resistors, they all connect to a common ground. So, what's going to happen is, let's connect all these together as one and then connect these to our ground. There's a ground on this side of the Arduino as well and that's it. Um, these LEDs uh, these LEDs are connected to pins 10, 11 and 12 which are these here um, but one thing you'll have to consider while designing a circuit is that <coughs> Um, what what result you need you al always have to keep in mind what kind of result you need so what we need in our um, case here is that we need the LED circuit to be separate 
and we need this to be a separate circuit which we will mount outside the you know the hand and these actually LEDs have to be inside the hand so uh, we need some kind of a disconnect between these we're not going to connect uh, the LEDs directly to the nano because we don't want wires coming through the hand um, and connected connecting so what do we need here we need to delete this and we need to put uh, a couple of header pins you know header pins here and header pins here so so that there's a disconnect between the two um, so this circuit can be a separate circuit on its own and then we can just connect you know jumper wires between these and then this is a separate circuit on its own if you don't understand this just um, just bear with me once we get our PCB or once we get to the final design uh, you'll you'll understand what uh, what we try and do here so anyway uh, we have our uh, two header pins actually let's just place it here because that way it's neater and the way we want to do it is we want to connect all these LEDs to all these headers and then uh, one pin to ground all the grounds are common so we just need to take this into pin say 4 but we uh, see we didn't see the black circle so it's not connected now it's connected and now these go to uh, the respective pins here so this one is gonna go to ground we can just connect it to uh, to this ground no problem and then we have to connect these to 10 11 12 so let's start with 10 and it doesn't matter if your wires go all over the place in the schematic mode because um, your PCB is gonna configure it um, automatically so just go crazy with the wires you can no it's not yeah now it's connected um, so yeah just be careful when you're connecting the wires and now number 12 goes to number three nice see that was fun so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is convert this now into a circuit board uh, so we go to this tools here and say uh, where is it no it's not here oh yeah, yeah sorry the convert tool and say convert to PCB and uh, it says please save your file before you convert it so let's control s save it it's saved and now we can convert it to pcb and it is uh, all your components here on a board this is your palette the purple rectangle and these are all your components so you can just um, you know start dragging and dropping it uh, depending on where you want your components to be and um, it's very uh, important to be a little imaginative at this stage because uh, hmm, what do I want uh, you know uh, how small do I want my PCB to be and all that uh, what kind of shape do I want it to be so what we need in this case is we want um, our nano to be on one side okay um, I think it's better if you flip it into where's the flip tool oh I can't flip it wait yeah so um, now I can only rotate it so let's rotate it to the right and move it um, you can just you know grab it and when it's gray you can move it so let's move it to the edge and we want our LEDs and resistors remember we said we want these to be together so we can put these here and then later when we have the PCB we can cut the PCB and put this in the Iron Man gauntlet and put this thing separately outside um, yeah and uh, these are our header pins so perhaps you want to put our headers um, on this side and maybe um, just to save some more space we want them to be rotated rotate left like that okay and we want our PCB to be as compact as possible 
and then two header pins one for this side uh, let's rotate a left and one for this side oops sorry one for this side let's uh, bring it here and rotate it left okay matching great um, now we want to optimize our LEDs and resistors in uh, sort of a circular shape okay you know you can play around with it make it all sorts of fancy whatever your design wants so okay this is kind of circular so once you're done with it the next step is to um, start wiring the PCBs and that's really easy because the purple lines here they already kind of show you what you want to do so if, you, if I zoom in here uh, see there's a red line coming but I, we don't want that so let's control Z control Z okay PCB tools we need uh, to start connecting so once you connect uh, you know click on any for example this header pin it's going to show you uh, where you want want to want want to connect it so now this is showing that I want to uh, take this positive to a1 so you can connect it to a1 but you have to make sure it doesn't connect to any of the leads um, so uh, let me go up and click then go right and click and then click okay one is done and then number two goes to the resistor click easy and then this one goes to the ground but you see it has to cross this path and uh, to do that let's just um, um, let's just go backwards and do a little uh, loop and then connect it but I already see a problem here when we do this uh, we block all these pins and we want to connect our LEDs to pins you know 10 11 and 12 and we can't do that because this is the way so that's bad design so let's control Z it and then bring this so let's connect this to this ground instead and uh, even though it's suggesting that we go to this ground it's um it's all right even if you just go to this one so that's done now let's connect our header uh, to pins um, 7 8 and 9 or 10 11 12 whatever uh, you know whatever you choose it uh, doesn't really matter so pin 9 goes here Okay, this part of the circuit is done. Now let's just quickly wire up um, the other side of the circuit. okay now this one goes here and this one comes here so it's like a crisscross between the two and um, no matter what we're gonna do uh, we'll end up blocking them so the solution is click this rotate it twice so we actually flip it and once it's flipped we can reconnect what we've lost so let's connect this ground back oh actually we can connect this one here it's the same thing they're all um, connected um, together so we can connect any of these points anyway uh, now this one can go here without a problem and without blocking anything this one can comfortably come here and then this one we can bring from all around without overlapping to this one and that's about it this completes our connection 
uh, it's just showing one remaining connection but we're not gonna listen to what this is saying because we've already connected this to ground here and whether we connect to ground here or here it's the same thing so well, the software doesn't always know everything okay once we're done what's the next step now this will be a good time to uh, you know optimize your uh, layout um, maybe make the PCB a little smaller We can bring it here and that's about it um, we want to keep these two separate so that when I receive it finally the PCB I can cut it in the middle shove this up uh, in the uh, the gauntlet in the hand and then make this um, you know like a strap on or something okay let's go ahead and export or actually generate fabrication file or the Gerbil file the Gerber file is what you send to your PCB manufacturer. Let's go ahead and do it. Please save your file. Okay, Control S, save, and generate Gerber file. Now it's going to check for uh, DRC or errors. Um, so you just go ahead and it'll just say one error track to track, which means um, there is this one error it's showing, but we know that. Uh, this is not an error we actually intended to use this ground instead of that ground so um, let's go ahead ignore this error and uh, generate our Gerber file so Gerber file and um, you can order it directly from here from JLC PCB and uh, if I'd fail to mention this video is actually sponsored by JLC PCB and they promise to send me uh, some PCBs um, uh, for reviewing so this is the file I'm gonna send to them and when I receive it back I'm gonna review their quality and show you guys what I got so uh, let's get 10 PCBs because I think the cost is the same regardless of 5 or 10 PCBs so let's get 10 PCBs this is the standard thickness you can choose your color let's choose green um, finishing is HASL um, so that's the cool thing about JLC PCB. You can order 10 PCBs for only two dollars. Click order at JLC PCB, and then it's gonna go to their website. Um, give it some time to load the Gerber file. Here you can choose your layers, uh, dimensions, um, you know, all the um, parameters um, of your uh, PCB but once you uh, if you upload it directly from easy EDA it's gonna load all the dimensions automatically so you don't have to worry about it this is how your PCB is gonna look like from the front and from the back and it looks good to me so what you can do is you can go ahead um, build time is two to three days and the shipping is as per your uh, country and then you can just save to cart so yeah, um, 10 of your PCBs for $2, um, that's a good deal. But uh, let's see, once I place the order and uh, once I get it in the next three to four days, I'm going to show you what it looks like and then we're going to make our um, little PCB prototype. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys um, learned. See you next time uh, with the built PCB. Thanks for watching guys. Keep engineering and I'll see you next time.